Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at an old school Clone Wars set. This is set 8085. It is the Free Coast Speeder. Came out in 2010 um, and originally retailed for $24.99. If you want it used, you're going to only pay about $18.44. Brand new in box. Um, it comes with two characters, as you can tell, and was from a uh, part of the early seasons of the Clone Wars TV show. This is my original set that I got when it came out. I actually really liked this set. It hasn't retained any value and you can get it for pretty cheap but I like I don't know I just really enjoyed this set I thought that the characters the two characters that it came with were really cool my price range for Legos was around $25 I never really went above that back then so this was like a great set for me personally um but yeah so old school clone wars i remember the episode that it was in um and it never really had any other continuation after that so that's perhaps why it didn't retain any value um it doesn't so much matter but i it's something i actually have never reviewed not even on my normal my normal channel uh way back in the day so i figured i'd go ahead and review it because i'm actually disassembling it to make room for new sets so i thought i'd give it a little bit of spotlight here on um, the lego channel before um it goes into its little uh bag for now so anyways let's go and start with the minifigures. Taking a look at Anakin Skywalker first, and I always thought this was a pretty cool Anakin Skywalker because he's very unique. Obviously, he has a parka hood, what we see with Han Solo, but it has the um, Jedi Order symbol, and then he has his hood, uh, his coat beneath. His head is specific to winter gear, which I think is also very neat, but you can flip it around and there's normal Anakin Skywalker if he wants to focus comes with white gloves and a lightsaber and then just plain gray pants which are pretty standard for the time but I actually thought this was a pretty cool minifigure a very unique Anakin uh, from the Clone Wars and here we have Tyson or Thyson I always call him Tyson just by the way his name is spelled but he's a Tulls um, and he comes with a little spear here and this is another really cool minifigure he's relatively plain in color but they made a custom sandwich board piece for him that we've never seen again we have never seen this piece used on another Lego minifigure, which is, again, surprising to me that he's actually not worth a whole lot because this is the only time we've ever seen him. And he, uh, I know that they do have a Jedi version of him um, as well, which would be cool to see. I don't know if we ever saw it in the movies though, so they perhaps won't ever make it, but I think it's pretty neat. Nonetheless, he has some um, of his like tribal headgear and backpack as well, but a pretty neat, unique minifigure nonetheless. And moving on to the speeder itself, it is relatively small. It obviously has one glaring issue. Um, you know, 10 bucks if you can spot it. Uh, but overall, I mean, it was kind of a, a, an interesting looking design. We've not really seen anything like this since. Um, yeah, so it's not too bad. I do like the back engines here with the blue, but overall the build is pretty simplistic. We have some sticker pieces throughout here, stickered, 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 um, lots of stickers. Um, and then it has like little snowshoes, so it's like a little snowmobile um, or a Star Wars take on a snowmobile, if you will. And obviously there is a cockpit in here and a gigantic gap. I am not sure why they constructed the bubble to this speeder with such a gap. I definitely think they could have built that up on the sides or something. It's really, really odd. Um, and the way it stops, it just, it doesn't line up at the top here. It doesn't line up down here or anything. So it, it just is kind of weird. Um, but on the inside, you can fit Anakin Skywalker and he does have a steering wheel. Um, on the back, if you pull back this section of the speeder, um, you get a little bit of a spot. If you take apart the lightsaber, you can put the hilt in there and then you get one box, which has some binoculars in it. So um, I can see how he might need those in a snowy terrain. Um, so you do get a little storage compartment, which is nice, and you just have to remove it there to to take it on. So anyways, that's basically it. It doesn't have any flick fires or play features. It does have some headlights on the front, but overall it is pretty simple. Um, it was just, it's mostly a display piece. I mean, it's pretty like swooshable, zoomable, but I mean, you don't have any like flick fires. They were relatively common at this time, but they didn't go on every set. They're not like they are today. So anyways, you do get that. And so that being said, I mean, I see how it's never been a set that's been highly valued. The cockpit area has a major flaw and it doesn't have any play features, but it is a pretty cool little set. You know, for me at the time when I bought it for 25 bucks, I thought it was great because it came with two brand new minifigures and it was a really interesting looking speeder that I had seen from the TV show. So it was pretty cool in that respect. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think on the comments below about this set. Is this one you picked up or had or like at all? Um, let me know. And as always, of course, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye.